In this task, we will quickly get familiar with the data that we will use to conduct an accuracy assessment. So let's open GRASS 6.4.4 and set our GIS data directory to our lab directory slash GRASS data. There we go. Uh, we're going to open the user one map set. So I'm going to select it here and click start grass. Okay, so um, now that we're inside the um, map set, uh, we want to open up the uh, workspace that I saved previously. So I'm going to click file, workspace, open. And once again, I'm going to go to the uh, lab directory here. Under grass data, there's a lab7 workspace.gxw file. I'll select that and click open. A grass workspace is a file that stores a loaded map layers and display options. A grass GIS workspace has been created for you that contains a small subset of the Landsat TF TM image, displayed as an RGB using bands 4, 5, and 3, respectively as well as a classified image, which is ML class, and a reclassified image, which is reclass ML. The reclass ML contains five land cover types, uh, agriculture, water, grassland, forest, and urban. So we're going to right click on reclass underscore ML and choose histogram. This will open the histogramming tool which is d.histogram, uh, displaying how many instances, instances of each cell value are contained in the raster map. The value of each um, uh, bar in the uh, histogram contains a unique land cover values that correspond to the individual land cover information classes. The ML class file represents a typical output from a maximum likelihood image classification, so i.max-like, a tool where every spectral class is categorized in the output. The reclass ML file is the recoded version of the ML class where the spectral classes have been recoded into the five information classes shown above. Reclass ML is the image that will be used in the accuracy assessment. Now in addition to the two images, uh, the images, two raster maps are provided. The spectral SIGS raster, raster map, represents the sites that were used to generate the training sites that were used to produce the ML class. The AA sites raster is the accuracy assessment areas and will be used in the accuracy assessment. So let's take a few moments to view the histograms for each raster map. And so I'm going to look at the AA, close it here, uh, AA sites raster histogram. and the, uh, let's see here, raster reclass histogram. And the ML class histogram. And then lastly, the spectral SIGs raster histogram. And so as you look through these, make sure you understand the relationship between the raster maps and how the reclassified raster maps relate to the original classification output. Consider the number of training cells per class versus the number of classified cells per class.